Hey guys, this is Matt with FlightTrajectory.com. Uh, a couple days ago, one of you guys asked me a great question about the airspeed indicator and what all the arcs and markings and color codings on it mean. Uh, so I figured I'd do a quick lesson for you guys on that. Uh, so here's a normal general aviation airspeed indicator. Uh, the more advanced aircraft you get, these airspeed indicators start to look different. Um, but all pretty much all general aviation aircraft have an airspeed indicator um, with these exact markings on them. Um, although the number associated with the arcs is going to vary, obviously, based on the aircraft. So the first thing we need to talk about is V speeds. Anytime we're talking about airspeed limitations of the aircraft, uh, V speeds are what we use to identify that. So VSO, V stands for velocity, SO stands for the limitation that we're dealing with. Uh, in this case, VSO is the bottom of the white arc here at 40 knots. Um, this is our flaps down stalling speed. Now, this speed and the next one, VS1, are both based on maximum gross weight of the aircraft. Um, the weight affects the stalling speed, um, but if we're lighter than maximum gross weight, the plane will actually stall at a little less than these speeds are. So looking at VSO, bottom of the wide arc, that's where the airplane is going to stall if you're at maximum gross weight and your flaps are fully down. VS1 is the bottom of the green arc, so right here at 45 knots, that's our flaps up stalling speed. And again, based on maximum gross weight of the aircraft. VFE is the top of the wide arc, and that's velocity flaps extended. Um, this is the maximum speed that you can be at and start putting down flaps, start extending the flaps. So um, any, you're coming into land, you're ready to put the flaps down, you got to make sure you're in the wide arc, otherwise you're going to do structural damage to your flaps. VNO is the top of the green arc, um, and that's our maximum structural cruising speed. So if you go beyond maximum structural cruising speed into the yellow arc here, you have to make sure that you're only doing that in smooth air. So basically 130 knots, that's the maximum speed you can fly in any sort of turbulence. If you go beyond 130, it's got to be smooth air. Finally, VNE is the top of the yellow arc. It is this red line right here at the top of the yellow. And never exceed is pretty much self-explanatory. So never under any circumstances, any conditions, never exceed that red line there. If you do exceed that red line, you will definitely be doing structural damage to the aircraft. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this short little lesson. I uh, hope that clarifies things for you guys wondering uh, what those markings on the airspeed indicator mean. Uh, I'd like to take a minute to invite you to go check out my website, flighttrajectory.com. Uh, I added a bunch of things to the store tab, uh, put a free offer up on there as well uh, for if you guys want to check out uh, my first video action guide that I made. And if you like the other ones, invite you to uh, purchase those as well. Thanks for subscribing to my channel and I'll see you next time.